Well, hello! <laughs> uh, this is Cindy Michaels, trying something new because life just sometimes, you know, gets a little boring. They say, do something and do it well. Do one thing and do it well. I like to do a lot of things and if I do it well, that's up for uh, debate. But um, I think that living your life doing as many things as possible is what makes it fun. So yeah, whatever. So I, uh, I sell shark dives, as some of you may know, some of you don't. And I also do voiceovers, which I've done uh, for 20 years. I used to have my own radio show. I used to be on the news. And now I work out of my home studio, which is a blessed mess. But uh, I'm not cleaning it up today because I'm busy. All right, so I've got an ad um, that I I'm, I want to do voiceovers for you so that I can, you know, you can see what I do. And maybe if you're an up and coming voiceover person, you can uh, learn how to do voiceovers and do them crappy. I'm just kidding. No, I do. I do. Uh, I do some uh, voiceovers and I have fun at it. So um, anyway, I got a an ad from my producer in Maine. I bet he'd love that title, my producer. So anyway, I like using it. His name is Josh. He works at the station that I do uh, voiceovers for and promotions for. It's w WFMX. Remember when you're in broadcasting, always make sure that you t pronounce the W like it is. W, you don't go W. W, W, it's a W. There is an L in there. But uh, anyway, so I got, a, I got an ad from um, a company. Well, I got an ad from my producer uh, who got an ad from a company in Maine called Creative Sounds. They do car stereos. So I'm going to do their ad. Let me see if I can get a little more. Oh, I'm sorry about the hand shot. <laughs> Put my headphones on. Can't live without my headphones. You know, a friend of mine gave me these. He's no longer with us. Um, but I've had them for nearly 20 years, actually. And they still work. They're Sonys. Don't get cheapy Sonys for like $12. They're just not as well made as the uh, a little more expensive Sonys. You definitely get what you paid for. They have last me, lasted me forever. All right, I'm going to do this ad for Creative Sounds. And I use Adobe Audition for my editing uh, system. And I can show you that. Hold on, you're gonna go for a ride. Whee! And that's what I use, Adobe Audition. Um, I've used Adobe forever, so uh, that's what I, I like using. It's very, very easy to use. Uh, User-friendly is what they say in the big kid world. Um, so yeah, I like to do that. So I, uh, it's recording right now, so if you say anything, shh. All right, creative sounds. <clears throat> I'm gonna read over it real quick, just so I can, uh, the first time that I actually read it, uh, recording-wise, like, a, you know, that I'm gonna be sending to him, I, w I might as well do it right, right? So I read over it just quickly. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Creative sounds is your remote car starter headquarters. Hey, this is cool. So however I read it is how you're going to perceive it, right? So you want to have, you know, I wanna be able to, you know, tell you, about the product as best as possible because you're going to be buying it, right? And if you're not, if you weren't planning on buying it, as long as I read it enticingly, then you really want to buy it. So, but there's uh, there's exclamation points throughout this read. I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to go on another ride. Hold on. Whee! So I don't know if you can see, um, there are, you know, exclamation points emphasizing like the price and, you know, what they offer and, and, and things like that. So. Um, yeah, I can't turn this around while it's recording for some reason. I'm not that advanced. Make sure that you know how to pronounce the stuff that you're reading. Uh, many times I will contact my producer and say, hey, um, I've never heard this word before because it's a, maybe um, a company that they are using within the ad, like, uh, like Metra. Okay, adapters in stock from Metra. Metra is a brand name of um, adapt ten, uh, antenna adapters, but if it was a name of an antenna adapter that I wasn't familiar with, I just, you know, I make sure, I don't guess, I make sure that I know how to pronounce it through the client. Like my producer may say, hmm, it looks like it's pronounced this way. And I'm like, yeah, can you make sure from, you know, from, from the company that that's how they want their name 
pronounced. I mean, they'll end up telling you how they want it pronounced when you send them a script that's a mistake. But you, you, wouldn't it be great if you got it right the first time? Because then they're like, whoa, you got our company right the first time. So I like to do it right the first time. Um, didn't get all that? Check them out on Facebook to see all their current specials. Creative Sounds, 54 Front Street in Waterville. Creative Sounds sounds good, doesn't it? So Creative Sounds has a, uh, a tagline. They've got like a little, um, what do you call it? I know you have the answer. I, it's, not, it's not coming to me right now. A little slug line. So... Um, you know, like the 99 restaurants have the 99, always the real deal. They end every ad they do, always the real deal. It's like the 99's slug line, tagline, whatever it is. It's their gimmick. Um, it's, their, it's their catchphrase. That's it. Catch phrase. Uh, so sounds good, doesn't it? Is, is creative sounds kind of catchphrase. Creative sounds sounds good, doesn't it? And I try to do it the same way every time because people look, look forward to it. It's, you know, it's like when they're hearing it on the radio and they've already heard a bunch of creative sounds ads, um, they know that when it's a creative sounds ad at the end, there's always going to be that tag. Sounds good, doesn't it? So I try to say it the same way every time. Occasionally, I'll change it up a little bit and I'll say, sounds good, doesn't it? You know, and I'll just put a little yeah, yeah in it. And that's just me. If they don't want to use it, they'll tell me, but they've, they've always used it. So, okay. So I'm going to read the, the ad and, um, hang on, see, uh, what you think. By all means, I love critics. <laughs> Probably won't change anything. No, I will. Honestly, if you say, hey, you know, you're not sounding natural or you, or you sound um, too sing-songy or, or this inflection was not right, by all means, I want to know because I, I'm always looking to improve my, my delivery. Um, you know, we're, we're a, a sponge just like kids. We take it all in and we learn from it. We should, right? Adults shouldn't be all stuck in their ways. So um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, give me your opinion. All right, here I go. Don't, and don't pick on my um, facial expressions because I get really like contorted in my face sometimes. And I, yeah, I have a crooked smile. It goes down when I talk. I can't help it. Okay, that I can't change. <laughs> unless I go the other direction. Okay, so he told me creative sounds, they always want a hard sell. So when they say hard sell, that means you're like, big car salesman, yeah! But I'm not crazy car salesman with creative sounds. I'm a little bit on the middle of the road. There's a lot of exclamation points through here. There's probably like 400. Okay, ready? Creative Sounds is your remote car starter headquarters. That's right. There's no better place to get your remote starter. If I make a mistake, I'm going to. I do it again. That's why it's recorded. That's right. I'm going to read it over one time by myself. Didn't get all that. Check them out on Facebook to see all their current specials. Creative Sounds, 54 Front Street in Waterville. Creative Sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? I like to get, like, um, as if I'm... Well, I'm not too terribly conversational in this ad because it's more of a hard sell. So I wouldn't be talking to you going, sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, I could. I could say, you know, uh, sounds good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna, I give him two reads typically. So I'm going to give him t uh, one more. And, um, you know, he has some things to choose from in case he didn't like the way I said something. Okay? I need my shoe back. Where's my shoe? Hang on a second. My big old wedge flip-flop. Uh, I, <laughs> I need to prop this, this microphone up just a little bit. <laughs> so professional around here. Uh, no, really, I should, I should have, usually when I'm not on camera, I'm down like this, hunched over. I need to be um, back, I have my shoulders back. I have more projection coming up through my lungs. So it needs to be up a little bit more. You, actually, I, I lied to you. I, it's not always down, but I sometimes have it on a platform. But I don't know where my platform is, so I'm going to use a platform shoe. Okay, ready? Creative sounds. I need to time myself. I don't have a timer because it's on the phone. Uh, okay, we'll worry about that. We'll just time it later. There's a way. 
Creative Sounds is your remote car starter headquarters. That's right, there's no better place to get your remote starter installed than at Creative Sounds. They offer CompuStar remote starters that come with two remotes, up to 1,000 feet of range, and a limited lifetime warranty, installed in your car or truck. Installed in your car or truck starting at only $189. Some vehicles require additional parts or labor. Do you want to know if your car has started? Creative Sounds has two-way remote car starters from $249 professionally installed. Need more range? Creative Sounds has CompuStar remote starters that work up to three miles away. Don't worry. Nope. Don't want that bulky remote on your keychain? Creative Sounds will get you the app to start right from your smartphone. Right now at Creative Sounds, you can get an Alpine AM FM CD player with an auxiliary input and a USB port professionally installed professionally installed for only $179. Have a car stereo that needs to be installed? They carry all those hard to find dash kits, harnesses, and antenna adapters in stock from Metra. Didn't get all that. Check them out on Facebook to see all their current specials. Creative Sounds. Creative Sounds. 54 Front Street in Waterville. Creative Sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? Creative Sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? So, um, did you notice uh, where I stopped, like right at the sentence where I said, with an auxiliary input and USB port, professionally installed? My professionally, like, slurred a little bit, so I can edit it. So wherever I stop and start, I can just, you know, there's a comma there. So if there's a comma, that means there's going to be a space in the read and it's easier to edit. The sounds has two-way remote car starters from 249, professionally installed. Need more range? Creative Sounds has CompuStar remote starters that work up to three miles away. Creative Sounds, you can get a Alpine AM FM CD player with an auxiliary input and a USB port, professionally installed for only 179. Obviously, I'm going to edit out the last one. Specials, creative sounds. Creative okay, so, sounds. um, professionally installed. I did it twice, so. With an auxiliary input and a USB port, professionally installed. So, um, here, let me show you. Ride number three. So, I'm going to show you how that works. Um, the word was professionally is what we're looking for, and we're looking for a gap so that we can edit, because I said professionally kind of weird, so then I, I reset it and uh, want to edit the old one out, so. FM CD player with an auxiliary input and a USB port, professionally installed, professional. I didn't, so I, I didn't like the way I said professionally. It was like kind of slurred, if you can hear it. Professionally. Per, professionally. It should be professionally, but we don't say professionally, so it's professionally. I'd like to say professionally. Professionally installed, professional. I just like the way I said it. My tone is a lot better. So what I do is I highlight it with the mouse and uh, delete. And there's a little bit of gap there, but going back to that, hang on a second. So the reason um, why I started over again at that point and rather than reading the whole line, because I knew there was a comma there and I knew there was a space. The USB port professionally installed. Perfect. So I, you know, if I had to edit out something closer, like for example, with an auxiliary input and a USB port, perfect. Let's say I wanted to do B port. B port. I mean, I could do B port because there is a little gap there. Um, any other word, you know, you just takes up too much of. It's all slurred together, and you know, trying to edit it, you're gonna have a mess. It's gonna be clipped. It's gonna sound terrible. So port professionally installed. Professionally installed. I like the way I say professionally second, so I'm gonna delete that, and then I want to. Um, and a USB port, professional. There's a little too much time there, so I'm going to get rid of some of that time. And I don't like this little, this is a little click in my tongue there or whatever. Professional. So I'm going to get rid of a little, some of that. And then when you zoom out, it's like, whoa, that's really closer than I thought. Auxiliary input and a USB port, professionally installed for only $179. There's a natural rhythm to speaking, so you don't want to have too much time in between the question. Didn't get all that. So I'm just going to get rid of some of that space. Stock from Metra. Didn't get all that. I think that's normal amount of time to wait. Didn't get all that. Okay, I don't need to wait an hour before you say yes or no. So all this needs to go away before I start talking again. Stock from Metra. Didn't get all that.
Check them out on Facebook. This creative sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? That was kind of wimpy. Sounds good, doesn't it? I don't like that. So let's get rid of that because I think I say it again. Creative sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good, doesn't it? Creative sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? So in here, I don't like that one. I like the first one better. So I'm going to get rid of the second one. Oh, what do we got over here? And uh, sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good is a little uh, whispered. So I'm going to go up here um, to my uh, effects and then amplify. And I want to raise it up just a, a little bit. So I'm going to do the 3dB boost, which it's already set on. And it's going to raise it up a little bit, make it louder. Creative sounds. Sounds good, doesn't it? So yeah, so that's what I, I feel good with, and I'm going with that, so we're done. So yeah, uh, it came out to be 101, which, you know, you don't want all your ads to be over. Um, if it's, you know, one second over on my ad, and then another second over on somebody else's ad, and then all of a sudden you got three or four seconds over, some radio stations and television stations will, well, a lot of television stations, almost all, will take satellite feeds. So those satellite feeds hit, they're like right on the mark. So if you've got all these ads that have over uh, or are running over, then those ads will clip into that satellite feed. One will get cut off. Either the satellite feed will get cut off or your ad will get cut off. And if your ad is cut off, then your client is kind of ticked. So you don't want that to happen. So I try to make it as perfect as possible. But um, if I don't edit it down, then my producer will. So uh, Josh is his name. So if he edits it down, I mean, he could take out a <sighs> breath and that would be a second and then it'd be fine. So I think he'll be okay. Hey, uh, if you need your ad voiced and you want this to voice your ad, uh, you know, shoot me an email, cindymichaels1 at gmail.com or, uh, you know, get in touch with me somehow. I'm sure there's ways. <laughs> there's always a way. Um, I'd love to do it. I do it. And yes, I do charge you. Sorry, no freebies here. But, um, <laughs> I did that for way too long. <laughs> That's why you use a shoe for a platform. No, anyway, uh, the, the shoe was a joke. Hope you guys didn't take that seriously. I am a pro. <laughs> Talk to you later. Thank you for hanging out. Though There will be more. Have a good day.